This is hilarious. This, I'm not sure if this is a troll and somehow they've made it onto BBC News. This is made it onto the mainstream news. I'm not sure if this guy is a troll or this, this geezer is completely insane. I don't know, but this is crazy. Man sues Apple claiming iPhone turned him, we'll say lavender. I'm pretty sure um, that when I upload this clip to YouTube, um, I will not get deranked um, because I'm pretty sure they, they are familiar with the term lavender. I think that's quite British. But lavender, you can see what it says, lavender. Um, he's lavender. He's la it turned him lavender. Now, how can an iPhone... I've got an iPhone here, like this. Apparently this, this can turn you, ooh, this can make you want to kiss boys, if you're a man, you know what I'm saying? So what happened, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what happened, Vladimir? Let's have a look. Um, so, a Russian man has launched a lawsuit against Apple, claiming an iPhone app turned him lavender. He says this comes after an incident involving, <laughs> we'll call it G-Coin, but you can see, you know, lavender, G-Coin cryptocurrency. I mean, like, there really is a coin for everything, isn't there? Um, can, can you imagine the, how the future is going to actually be um, when you're queuing up to pay something and cryptocurrency is accepted at shops? If shops exist, then who knows? But, and, and you know, an option. It's like, do you take, do you take G-Coin? Do you take lavender coin? You know what I'm saying? There's a way to pay stuff. This would be 50 G coins. Like, that is, just, this isn't the future we really anticipated, is it? Anyway, he says this comes after an incident involving uh, G coin cryptocurrency, saying he suffered moral harm. He is asking for 1 million rubles. I can't believe 1 million rubles is only 12 grand. <laughs> That's hilarious. According to a copy, of the complaint seen by news agency AFP. Homosexuality was decriminalised in Russia in 1993, but anti-gay prejudice is still widespread. In 2013, Russia passed legislation banning the spreading of what it describes as G-propaganda. The This officially bans the promotion of non-traditional lifestyles to minors, but in effect outlaws LGBT activism. A number of campaigners have been attacked and killed in the past year. So, what's happened? Yeah, what has happened? What happened to him? In a suit filed on the 20th of September, it is claimed a cryptocurrency called G-Coin, as we'll call it, was delivered via a smartphone app rather than the Bitcoin he had ordered. So, cryptocurrency is basically virtual money. This is there explain what cryptocurrency is. And on live edge cash, and Bitcoin and G-Coin are some of those currencies. Right, okay. How like if this is real? This is why this is this, this smells fishy. If you order a cryptocurrency, you usually get the cryptocurrency paid for because Bitcoin's kind of one of the only ones amongst there's about three or four that are like actually worth investing in. The rest of them are just, um, but Bitcoin by a hell of a margin is the is the cryptocurrency still is despite its ups and downs. It's still strong. Um, so when you go on a, you know, if you go on one of these websites or apps where you order cryptocurrency, you, you're going to be ordering Bitcoin. And for them to send you G coin, which is worth uh, the equivalent of G coins, it's, it's like, well, you're not getting what you pay for. So I don't see why that would, I don't see how that would happen or why that would happen. Um, but if that was the case, then I don't know. Then that's very bad. But. So, anyway, according to the complaint, the G-Coin cryptocurrency arrived with a note saying, don't judge until you try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and he says, I fought in truth. How can I judge something without trying? I decided to try same-sex relationships. The complainant, the complainant wrote, now I have a boyfriend and I do not know how to explain this to my parents. <laughs> so this this guy is so susceptible to uh, propaganda apparently that, that someone just go 
Here's some here's some homosexual currency. Oh, we do rank now. I can't use homosexual. Right, here's some G. Here's some gay coin, right? It, um, just try it. Have you ever have you ever thought about trying to kiss boys instead of girls? You might like it. And he just went, oh, well, I should try it. The cryptocurrency tell me to try it. It's like what what. How is it like? What? What is wrong? Why? Would you, why? Why would you just go? Oh yeah, well, I might as well try being gay, I suppose. What a what a bizarre conclusion to come to after getting the wrong cryptocurrency. If I ordered something and it and the wrong thing arrived and it had a note and it was trying to push something down my neck, going, "Hey, have you ever thought about badger baiting? Here's some badger baiting coin. I'm not going to go out and start baiting badgers, am I? Just like that, you know." It's like I I could you know I don't I don't want to be gay and I don't want to be a badger baiter. I I quite like being me a heterosexual non badger baiter. So I don't see how anything's going to persuade me to consider otherwise. Just a suggestion. Don't knock it until they give it a try. It's like if I wanted to try something, I'd try it because I'd be curious to try it. You know what I mean? Is it being gay isn't the same as um, trying some food you're not sure about? You know, like thousand-year-old egg from China. It's like, oh, I'm not sure about that. It's a bit different, isn't it, to trying something different? Or you know, I don't. Know. Do you know what I'm saying? It's a bit different. Or trying a new haircut. It's 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 quite a big life decision, because essentially, you know, it's it's either it's either it does something down here or it doesn't. If you look at a man and it doesn't does nothing for you, like, oh, yeah. You know, look at you know, just watch ten hours worth of gay porn. I'm just gonna watch ten hours worth of gay porn and see if I just feel anything. Uh, and if you don't feel anything, then it's probably not for you, isn't it? I would say. So I don't see how you could get a message from a, a weird, a dodgy cryptocurrency app and, and go, "Oh, do you fancy trying being gay for once?" Uh, it's like, what? Why would? You, why? How? How's that gonna persuade you? Um, he adds that his life has been changed for the worst, and he will never become normal again. <laughs> Some ignorant shit. Apple pushed him towards homosexuality through manipulation. Now, in all, I mean, there are a lot of, I mean, look, the whole case for like um, homosexual propaganda getting put down, people pushed down people's necks and throats and stuff. You know, some people do have some legitimate arguments about, you know, they have gone overboard with the whole gay acceptance thing a bit. Okay. But, it's, and some people are concerned that, you know, they're trying to make people gay. Okay. That, that's, a, that's a theory out there. Whether you believe it or not, it uh, doesn't really matter because not that many people have been turned gay even when you have rampant homosexuality pushed on you quite a lot. Most people just, if they're not, if they don't want to be gay, aren't going to be gay, okay? Uh, I don't think many people are turning gay. Um, do you know what I mean? Uh, and just having a suggestion, just being sent gay cryptocurrency, I don't think is enough, if I'm quite honest. I don't think that's enough uh, propaganda and brainwashing to turn you homosexual. I think it, it's, I mean to turn someone homosexual. I think would take a lot, quite a lot. You know, I have the classic cases of uh, women who turned uh, turned to lesbians. It's a great example because of um, their horrific experiences with men, like some women who've been abused. And you, there are cases of this happening. It's not just some conspiracy um, put out there by you know, evangelical preachers and Muslims and any other religious nut job that thinks homosexuality is a sin. This stuff does happen. It legitimately happens. So it takes a lot. I mean, I'm talking like really extreme cases. More than just a suggestion from a cryptocurrency of, of trying to be gay and for, for, that, for that to work. Right, the work. So if you are out there, if you are in the homosexual propaganda business and you're trying to turn people gay... You need to you need to do a lot to make it happen. I just have to say, you know, it, it takes more than just a little suggestion. That's what I'm saying. You know, just I don't want to be giving you advice, but you know, I I don't like to see people wasting their time. Anyway, the changes have caused me moral and mental harm. Uh, Sapizat Gusnieva says the company has a responsibility for their programs, despite the alleged exchange taking place in a, on a third party app. Well, you're going to sit... I mean, go where the money is. I mean, a dodgy app that doesn't give you the cryptocurrency you paid for in the first place aren't going to have the money that you're wanting, are you? They're not going to have fucking a million rubles. Um, so go after Apple. I mean, you know, they got billions, haven't they? 
Um, this is crazy. I want to meet this lawyer. This is the kind of lawyer I like. Who says, yes, I will take on your case. You have legitimate case. Then he's like, I think we can win this. I'm like, really? Well, where the court are going to go? So you got turned gay by cryptocurrency, did you? That's interesting. How'd that happen? Is this gonna? Is this actually gonna go to fucking court? And they're gonna have to look. Apple gonna have to lawyer up. Go right. Well, we're gonna go meet that Russian. We turned gay, I suppose. I really, yeah. All right, seriously. This this guy. Is, is this guy's amazing? That like, he he'll take up this case. I want to file a ridiculous lawsuit myself, and see if I can get it taken on by the, a crazy lawyer. We go. Oh yeah, really? Yeah. I don't know. You know. I don't know. Tesco made me anti-Semitic or something like that, you know. Um, just give that a try. Well, Tesco turned me into an anti-Semite. How? Well, I don't know. I just bought some Jerusalem artichokes and made me go fucking weird. You know, like something like that. I don't know. See if they could see if we could push through an even more ridiculous court case and try and get some money. I tell you, I'll be going for more than twelve thousand pounds. Anyway, uh, the, the the court will hear the complaint on the 17th of October, according to information on its website. Apple has not yet responded to Newsbeat's request for comment. Are you gonna re- Are you gonna respond to requests for comment? So, so there's so this uh, you sent gay coin to a guy who wanted Bitcoin. It turned him gay. Do you have anything to say? Like, no, of course I don't. Are you mad? I'm not gonna comment on that. He's ridiculous. Who is this ridiculous asshole? How am I going to tell my parents? But it does bring up the the case of like, is it that bad that you turn gay anyway? I mean, like, look, I don't I don't think homosexuals want to turn straight, and I don't think gays want to turn uh, no homosexuals want to turn straight, and I don't think straight people want to turn gay because they're quite happy being who they are, um, as who they are. But at the end of the day, would it really matter? Does it even matter that much that you turn gay or you turn straight? Does it really matter? Is it that important? You know. Is it because either way round, what what does it matter? What does it matter? Obviously, it'd be a bit weird if everyone was gay. Obviously, because you know it just goes against the grain, doesn't it? You know, it's right. It's it's perfectly fine to be different. This is why I keep telling people it's great to be different. But but like, would it even? How's it going to affect your life that much? Obviously, living in Russia maybe a bit. Being gay is problematic, more problematic than other countries. You know, there's plenty of other countries where they, you know, still, you know, they're pretty harsh on homosexuality. But at the end of the day, like, really, as a human being, it's like, what does it matter if you're gay or straight? To do, with, you know, it's not like you got turned. Oh, it made me a rapist. Maybe if it made you a rapist, then you'd have a case again. Well, it made me have rape tendencies. We're like, oh, well, that's pretty bad. I said, no, I just like kissing boys instead. Now, does it make any difference? What are you gonna do with the money anyway? What are you gonna get gay conversion therapy? Does that even work? How many successful gay conversions have been made? I have no idea. Yeah, what's the success rate of gay conversion therapy, and how much does it cost? Is it successful? What do you do? Is it like well, how's it work? Is it like Clockwork Orange type shit, where they just you know staple your eyes open and you just got to watch? I don't know. Girls rolling around in jelly, naked for ten hours straight. I mean, that would definitely turn me from being gay. But uh, that would work for me. But I know what was it involved? Was it involved constant hand jobs? I, I've no, you know, from women. Was it was it involved? Do you have to go? Do you have to go to a peep show for twenty four hours straight? I, I don't know how it works. How's it? What do they do in gay conversion therapy? What what happens? What happens? Do they sort? Of, I don't know. What do they do? Do they hypnotize you? And every time you see cock, you smell dog shit, and therefore you're turned off by it. I have no idea what they do. I don't know how it works. It's crazy. Anyway, there's a Russian who's going to sue Apple because it turned him gay. 